Hello friends, it's Alex here and welcome to another video. Today we look at a brand new operating system. It's called Crystal Linux. It is a new Arch-based Linux distribution and it is supposed to be friendly, powerful and easy to use. This OS is still in beta version. In the live environment, you get this custom GNOME layout with a panel at the bottom. This OS has time shift and does automatic backups so you can easily restore your system in case of trouble after updates. For package installation, we have Amethyst, a fast, efficient and lightweight AUR helper and Pacman wrapper, which is made for the Crystal OS and is compatible with any Arch-based distro. To use it, just type AME install package name. More details about its usage, check out this website and learn more. We also have Malakite, which is a Pacman repository manager and a workspace manager. Check this page to learn more about how it works and how to use it. The installation of Crystal OS is simple. Click download on the website and it takes you to GitLab. Look for the ISO file and download it. Once you boot into the live environment, launch the installer. You will need internet connection for the installer to start and for you to proceed with the installation. About this installer, it's Jade GUI made by the Crestro development team. Now let's skip the installation and dive in on the OS. The system requirements for installing this OS are not specified but 4 GBs of RAM and 20 GBs of hard disk space worked for me, should work fine for you as well. So what's new in this OS? You get a customized GNOME desktop environment with the latest version of GNOME 46 in both live environment and after installation. They have added support for GNOME extensions in Crystal updates. And finally, instead of NeoFetch, you get FastFetch, which does the same thing. Looking at the system monitor, we have RAM usage at about 1.3 GB and CPU usage is average. We have the GNOME software center as usual since this is a GNOME desktop OS. From its settings, you can toggle between automatic system updates or software updates and manual updates. And of course, update notifications are enabled. You can filter to have only free software and those from verified developers if you want. Check repositories as well if you wish to and please forgive my terrible internet connection right now. Moving on, we have this panel here at the bottom instead of the usual GNOME dock. On this panel we have the dock button on the left and some usual GNOME apps. We have GNOME files, a simple file manager with nothing new to it. And to the right we have the Crystal Linux icon which doubles as the Crystal Linux update indicator. If you click on it, you should be able to check for OS updates and also configure your update settings. In case you have OS updates, you should see a notification next to this icon. And to the end, we have the GNOME panel for settings, power and more. The OS has both light and dark modes and also there is night light. A GNOME screenshot tool is also available here. Now, if we dive into the settings under the About section, just like any other OS with a GNOME desktop, we have the Crystal OS logo right here. And under More System Details, we have information about hardware and software. This OS is a rolling release distro. The GNOME version is right here. And the kernel version is 6.8.2. We also have the Update button right here in the settings. And if you click on it, it takes you to the software center. Now to the app drawer, we have GNOME extensions app installed, which comes with several GNOME extensions that have helped customize this GNOME desktop. For instance, we have the dock to panel, which helps change the GNOME dock. We also have caffeine and OS update indicator. You can add more extensions if you wish to customize your GNOME desktop even further. Now to the terminal. 
As mentioned earlier, we have first fetch instead of neo fetch, which runs automatically when you open the terminal. Neo fetch is still available if you wish to run it on the terminal. If you need help running Amethyst to install packages, just type AME space double hyphen help and you'll get information. It's not that different from Pacman commands if you know the format of those commands. And finally, we have one pre-installed browser and it's of course Firefox browser. And that's Crystal Linux for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you guys on the next one.